On today's episode of Learning, we're going to show you how to scrub audio in After Effects and it'll sound and look a little something like this. From the uh, old days of the editing, where basically you had to edit. Hey guys, I'm Brent. And I'm Bobby. And you're watching. Learning with Bobby and Brent. Okay, so today we're gonna learn how to do some audio scrubbing in After Effects. Yeah, so you, it may sound like a really kind of basic idea, but we are actually working on a video today, and it turns out we neither of us knew how to do this before. Yeah, we just we were trying to uh, do some keyframing for um, an After Effects composition, and we had so many things going on at once that. It, the rendering time was crazy. Like, and it wouldn't let us watch it back with the audio. Yeah, so basically what would happen was, you know, you would hit play to watch the little animation we were doing, and it would... Like that. Yeah. So basically, like, you had, couldn't even see what was going on or hear anything. And if you tried to scrub through the timeline, just because basically I was trying to follow some audio cues to put in some keyframes and do some animations, you couldn't hear anything. Yeah. And... That sucks. I ended up spending two and a half hours working on animation, and it turns out I probably could have gotten it done a lot quicker had I known that I could do this audio scrubbing in After Effects. So we're gonna show you today how to do that. Now the first thing that you wanna do when learning how to kind of scrub through the audio in After Effects is, you'll notice that in Premiere you can see the audio wave files, but in After Effects you can't. So, right. so the way for example, we do that is This is Premiere, easy. you can see audio waveform down here. Yep. It's just right there, easy enough to see. But we go back over to After Effects, all we got is this weird little uh, rectangle here. It's this just, block. This block, like what the hell is that? But um, so if we want to see that waveform, it's pretty easy. All we have to do is double tap the L button. And it shows the waveform right there. So now we can see this. But as you're noticing right now, I'm scrubbing through the timeline right now. But you're not hearing anything. You're just seeing us dancing around like fools. Trying to explain something to you. And sometimes when you're audio. trying to line up a keyframe, you need to hear the audio. And right. see the waveform so that you can tell exactly where it is you want to line up the exactly. shot. Exactly. The waveform is actually a really nice visual tool because you can see, when we zoom in here, all the spikes and peaks of the audio. So that helps us to align our keyframes. So if I were to play this right now, you can hear the audio. But when I scrub right now, there's no sound. Okay, so how do we get there to be sound? Um, it turns out it's actually really easy. Um, on the Mac, we would hold down Command, or if we were using a PC, we would hold down Control, and then when we scrub, now you can hear me sounding all robotic and crap. Yeah, there it is. So easy, right? That's way easier than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Um, and they, like I said, it can be a real time saver because, as I said, when I was working on that animation this morning. I couldn't hear the sound at all, mm. so I literally had to hit play, walk away for 20 minutes while it slowly played through this really complicated After Effects clip, and then eventually when it rendered enough, I could rewind back, hit play again, figure out where my keyframes were, add them in. Mm. But then, when I would hit play again, because I added new keyframes, it would erase all my rendering, so mm. I had to start from the drawing board every single time I need to do any keyframes. That's such a pain in the butt. So yeah. This so. is an easy way to sort of get a general idea of where your audio is yep. and uh, be able to sift through your timeline and sort of figure out where you need to be for the certain graphics or keyframes you're trying to make. Absolutely. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Yeah. So this was a nice short but sweet one. Super effective thing that you should know how to do when you're using After Effects. It'll save you a bunch of time. Yep. And it would have saved me a bunch of time had I known about it before earlier this morning. So. So now you know. So now you know. And now I know. And now I know. And we've learned something today. One point for learning. One point for learning. I'm gonna cover Bobby's face with my hand right now. All right. Thanks for watching. <laughs> this See you is. Next time. Learning with Bobby and Brent. Oh, that's close enough. <laughs> how are we even starting this off? We haven't even figured out how we're starting. Hey guys, I'm Brent. <laughs> you need more toilet paper. I'm, I'm, I'm the one who complains about these long intros, and I'm the one who also, like, instigates them. <laughs> oh, it's all stuck oh, on no, you, you literally ate it, didn't you? <laughs> oh, that was dumb. <laughs> that was so stupid. Yep. We successfully did something weird last time. I think. <laughs>